Uh, Commissioner Kelly will fill you in on more of the details, but earlier this morning, a little after 9 a.m., a man who had been fired from his job about a year or so began shooting near the Empire State Building, but out on the street. He killed one person, and at least nine other people were shot, and some may have been shot accidentally by police officers who responded immediately, and while confronting the suspect and fatally shooting him, uh, unfortunately, there may have been other victims as well. All of those are not seriously wounded, and there is no expectation that any of them uh, will do anything other than recover quickly. Uh, I ask everyone to keep the victims in their uh, thoughts and in their prayers. This is a terrible tragedy, and there's no doubt that the situation would have been even more tragic, uh, but for some extraordinary acts of heroism. Every day, as you know, our police officers put their lives on the line to protect us. They did so again today, responding immediately, and they were joined by a number of civilians whose bravery and assistance probably also saved lives. And New York City, as you know, is the safest big city in the country, and we're on pace to have a record no low number of murders this year. But we are not immune to the national problem of gun violence. Uh, let me now turn it over to Commissioner Kelly. Ray? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I want to stress that uh, what we have is preliminary information and it's an ongoing investigation, of course. Uh, at 9.03 this morning, in front of 10 West 33rd Street, a disgruntled former employee of a company at that address shot and killed a former co-worker, striking him three times. The subject, Jeffrey Johnson, age 53, then fled eastbound on West 33rd Street to Fifth Avenue when he walked northbound along the curb line with a 45 caliber handgun secreted in a black bag that he had under his arm. A construction worker who had followed Johnson from West 33rd Street alerted two uniformed police officers who were on post in front of the Empire State Building's Fifth Avenue entrance as part of our counterterrorism coverage. As the two officers approached Johnson, he pulled his 45 caliber semi-automatic pistol from his bag and fired on the officers, who returned fire, killing him. An additional nine individuals were either wounded or grazed during the exchange, six of whom were removed to Bellevue Hospital and three to New York Presbyterian Cornell Medical Center. All are not likely to die. Johnson had been employed for six years at Hazan Imports, H-A-Z-A-N Imports, as a designer of women's accessories. During a downsizing at the company about a year ago, Johnson was laid off. In a dispute with one of the, the former employees of Hazan, in front of the building, Johnson produced the pistol and fired at close range, striking his 41-year-old victim in the head. We're withholding the victim's identity until family notifications can be made. 